hi guys so welcome back to my video and um, I just go ahead to fit my body and yesterday I got sick from the cough and the flu and anything else so in this topic we will discuss about sketch and the Adobe XD that help us to creating the beautiful UI design but the question is uh, why I prefer like the sketch app than the Adobe XD even the Adobe XD is better because there are so many things you need to know about the Adobe XD and I will show you in this video so check it out so I have prepared the icons here you can see the macro landscape portrait picture and the shutter one but we don't need all of them we just need one okay I am using this icon so we start from the fill f i l l fill okay well we start it from the other xd we create anything else what you document like okay so this is the artboard and oops it's my sketch so if you want to load the icon you just need to click here and drag and drop it's right okay and the problem is the icon is a black how about i want to the icon is a red color or the client uh, asking me how about the uh, the icon is a blue oh sure it's easy it doesn't matter okay well i just click here and change to blue but oh my god it's not working properly like i did in the sketch app the question like this so you can see we can change the field color even the background is a block but if you are using in the sketch app it's fucking simple really okay so where my finger okay this icon drag and drop like i did in the in the adobe xd and the client uh, need to change the color into the blue ta -ta -ra -ta -ta. blue this is your blue client don't change anything no 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 i want to change it to the red again oh okay this is your red please don't make the change again okay it's easy why i prefer like sketch because of this this are simple things we need to know we need to change if the client has been fucked up <laughs> okay well so the second thing is a gradient so we need to remove this and create the sound rectangle here okay the client asking me hey please make this rectangle into gradient oh okay just going to fit and huh where's gradient color oh this is it's simple okay and then if you want to change the color just like this but the question is how to make this is radial gradient <laughs> how to make it radial okay in the sketch app you just need to create the rectangle here and gradient and this is radial and this is a uh, strikes and this is a boo so many things you have to do here then the adobe xd okay that's why i like the sketch app and maybe you asking me why you use the sketch app please use another tools why i must because this is a sketch app it's perfect okay perfectly so uh, the next thing is the artboard okay so we have so many artboard here if you want to create the artboard just click a 
and press A and you will get so many artboards here from the iOS to material design okay but if you are using the Adobe XD I want to create the artboard just click here and you can see that's so I think it's not enough even the icon has not available right here so please don't asking me again about why you don't use the Adobe XD because of this we need all of them the art boards okay so the next thing is uh, export Yes, it's uh, my important things you need to know about the export. So, I will remove this icon because I don't need and remove this and remove this. We go back to the icons which I have prepared for you. So, I drag in and you can see the white is uh, 128 and the height is uh, 128 it's a perspective okay but i have the last artboard more than this artboard so we don't have this icon okay so how to make this icon is compatible into my another artboard which are bigger than this artboard okay so we can select this macro and export and I was talk if this we can make this one and two okay or for the Android is uh, from 400 so we can new folder into desktop is D and export so you can see we have so many size from the smaller and till the bigger but it's only 128 how to make it bigger 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 than the original because the original is 128 so in the sketch app What's my finger? Ah, uh, so many. In the sketch app, if I want this, uh, this, uh, the original size, you can remember it, 128. And I want to make exportable, and plus, and plus, and plus. Export, and create new folder, is the sketch, create, and export them. This is the original size. This is the bigger one. This is the medium bigger one. This is the fucking bigger one. Okay? This is what I expect. I don't need to make it to resize too small. What the heck? I just need to make the bigger one into the increase increase not decrease who wants decrease okay you will understand what I need even designer its needs um, okay the last one is a grid are you UI designer what this software for this is for UI designer but show me the grid we need the grid system to implementing, to slicing, into mobile, web, desktop, tab, for anything else, we need the grid. The grid it's a guide for the, uh, for the design into the margin space. It's needs okay. So show me the grid. This is grid repeat grid. I can click. So how to use the grid here? This is prototype, not grid. Okay. But if you're using the sketch, you can see we can layout setting. Okay, we 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 uh, we get the grid here. 
and you can design what you want for the mobile it's like this and we can oh sorry for the mobile it's like this and we can duplicate again this and duplicate again like this and resize like this and like this it's called grids man we need this please update for the adobe xd okay so <laughs> i'm so sorry I, I don't mean to compare because i just need to explain this because we need and also thank you very much for watching this video and i hope it will be useful for you if um, <laughs> you have uh, to change to use the sketch app or the adobe xd but that's not problem for me <sighs> okay so thank you oh no no I, i said that okay so nice to meet you from indonesia see you the next video goodbye